Hello and welcome to another Simple Trading Ideas Trading Tutorial. In this Simple Trading Ideas Trading Tutorial, we're going to just see an example of a simple moving average method. And before we dive into um, exactly what a moving average is, it's prudent for us to discuss time series and in statistics and econometrics and mathematical finance, even weather forecasting, time series are a sequence of data points that are basically spaced out at uniform time intervals. And here we're seeing a bar chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And this particular bar chart is a daily bar chart. And as you can see, each of these bars is for a separate day. Okay, so this is essentially it's a series of different times, so it is a time series essentially. So the analysis and the whole point of even looking at time series is looking at the time series in an effort to extract some type of statistics or characteristics of the data that we can use and in the financial markets of course we would like to use this type of data to predict or forecast future price movements in actuality what we are doing is we are anticipating future price movements we can call them predictions perhaps when you anticipate a price movement and it becomes reality uh, then people go back and say well it wasn't necessarily anticipated I predicted that that was the case but we'll remain uh, humble because we have to understand as always the markets in charge okay so here we have our daily chart and on this chart we have two different uh, moving averages two very popular moving averages uh, in the financial markets one is a 200 day moving average okay right here and the other is a 200 is a, my mistake is a 50 period and 50 day moving average okay now if this were a different type of chart uh, it could be in any financial market actually but say for instance this is we change from daily to uh, a weekly uh, chart of the Dow then this would be a 200 week moving average and this would be a 50 week moving average okay so the a moving average essentially allows us to look at a time series to analyze a time series and since a moving average is a trend following uh, technical indicator we can see here that this trend is up and it the prices are staying uh, well above the 200 period moving average for sure as we can see the 50 period moving average is tracking a lot closer okay a lot closer so let's jump into taking a quick look at uh, the moving average and how it's calculated the moving average gets its name is because it is an average okay the a certain number of prices are all added together and then we take that sum and divide it by the number of prices in most cases the moving average is based upon the closing price okay so here we have the this particular moving average level this price right here is based upon the last 50 closing prices okay they're all added together and then divided by 50 and that's what we get now in the case of the 200 period moving average we come down here and the last 200 of these closing prices okay are all um, added together and then divided by 200 and this is the price we get so that's our 200 period moving average right here now the interesting thing about the moving average is is if we look at say this particular 
uh, price level right here okay so we have this close and you can see the moving averages are here and here now what happens is as we move forward each day the very first we're, we're taking the last 50 closing prices in this case so we would take this price and then we go back 50 prices and we add all those up together and then as you can see here when that closing the new closing price is introduced that moving average is a bit higher the new closing price is introduced that moving average is a bit higher new closing price is introduced okay so that's a uh, the um, average price just simply goes higher and higher and higher as we're seeing it here now conversely as it moves downward we're going to see that change as the prices change so we'll take a quick look okay we'll move the window out of the way and you can see here as the prices the closing prices go down is that the moving average also goes down the short term but there's there's a lot of moving averages here and then the 200 period it won't show the same kind of fluctuations as the shorter term moving average of the the 50 day that we're looking at right here so in this moving average example if we're looking for a, a simple moving average method what some would do is basically if we're just taking a look at the 50 period let's say we wanted a simple moving average method to uh, experiment with then what we would do is let's say we're going to look at an example and and we want to use it in a moving average forecast so we've got our 50 period moving average indicator right here and entry can be in a number of different ways we could enter the market here right here right where we say penetrate that price and we would say when the moving average moves above this 50 when the when the price sorry when the price moves above the 50 period moving average then we want to buy uh, say the, the stock market the Dow um, or when it moves below we want to sell okay so one way is to wait until there's a a close okay so this close is actually above the moving average okay so we could either buy on that close or we could buy on that next open that's just a simple long or buy entry method now conversely we could sell once the closing price moves below that particular uh, moving average okay and then we would be short at that particular point but that's just you know that's a a very simplified view and we're what we're using here too just so we'll all know uh, is called a simple moving average and it's simple because it just involves the closing prices or whichever we choose to use and in most cases the closing prices uh, in the calculate in the calculation itself okay so it's it's pretty straightforward last 50 closing prices divided by 50 last 200 closing prices divided by 200 gives us this particular moving average here that particular moving average there okay so again in some forecast sense we'd be looking to say that okay the and this is the typical interpretation is that when the price closes above the moving average then we can anticipate that the price may move higher because as you can see it's not always something that's 
uh, a definitive. Uh, that's why in trading we have risk controls in place, right? So uh, because not every method we use, not every moving average method or any other type of method that we use uh, is always going to be in sync with the with the market. Okay, so that's basically it as far as a coverage of the um, simple moving average method. Now the last thing we'd like to cover today in looking at uh, our simple moving average method is something called a moving average crossover. Okay. and here we go we're going to take a look at a simple moving average crossover okay there we go there's a crossover right there now how a crossover works in a moving average is we take the long term moving average we see right here now when the short term moving average comes from below the long term moving average and crosses over it that the typical interpretation of that is that it's bullish and that uh, that is an opportunity for us to uh, to go long at that point. So here we see at this particular point, this particular day, uh, that the at the close the short-term moving average has crossed over the long-term moving average. So we have a choice of things we can do here if our method calls for it then we can buy the market at this particular point here right here on the close or we could of course use the the close use all of this as our trigger our signal and our, and our trigger to buy on the open of the uh, next day okay so that's a that's how our crossover works and as you can see that crossover can filter out a lot of a lot of different uh, types of trades and can be very useful and naturally uh, you know finding the best parameters for moving average crossovers is the subject of some uh, research some experimentation uh, on the part of anyone who wants to use them so that concludes our coverage of a simple moving average method uh, with some coverage of two very common moving averages, the 50-day moving average as well as the 200-day moving average, uh, and examples of using you know moving average to forecast, and a, an example of a simple moving average crossover. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Thank you for taking the time to join us for another Simple Trading Ideas trading tutorial. Please feel free to come to our website at www.simpletradingideas.com for more great trading information. Thank you and have a phenomenal day.